Apparently there is no escape from the law which fastens habits upon one. If I understand you correctly, Mr. Carnegie, failure can become a habit. Not only can failure become a habit, but the same thing applies to poverty and worry and pessimism of every nature. Any state of mind, whether positive or negative, becomes a habit the moment it begins to dominate the mind. I never thought of poverty as being a habit. Then you must think again, because it is a habit. When anyone accepts the condition of poverty, this state of mind becomes a habit, and poor he is, and so remains. What do you mean by accepting poverty? How does one signify his acceptance of so undesirable a condition as poverty in a country like ours where there is an abundance of riches of every nature? A man accepts poverty by neglecting to create a plan to acquire riches. His act may be, as it usually is, entirely negative, consisting of nothing but the lack of a definite purpose. He may not be conscious of his acceptance, but the result is the same. The subconscious mind acts on one's dominating mental attitude. From what you say about habits, I reach the conclusion that success is a habit. Now you are getting the idea. Of course success is a habit. It is a habit that one forms by adopting a definite major aim, laying out a plan for the attainment of that aim, and working the plan for all he is worth. Beyond that, the subconscious mind comes to one's rescue and helps by inspiring one with ideas through which the object of one's aim may be acquired.